Jim and Annette Buck have both left their mark on Southern California tennis in a significant way, spreading interest through coaching and leadership for over 50 years. Annette was a ranked junior while Jim was the captain of the USC men's tennis team and captain and coach of the Junior Davis Cup squad. Jim and Annette have spent their whole life volunteering, giving back to tennis and, and being tennis's greatest ambassadors and especially in the San Fernando Valley and now throughout Southern California. I can't think of any two people that are more deserving for this honor. The Bucks are absolutely a great family. They work with wheelchair players and that was my first opportunity to get to know them. Providing tournaments, providing weekly activities, providing play days for people who are just beginning. And I love the opportunities that Jim afforded our teenagers as they got to sit courtside with Jim Buck for the LA Open. Well, I met Jim in the seventh grade, I think it was 1947 or eight. And he was, uh, we both went out for the baseball team. And he got spiked by a guy that was five foot five and weighed about 200 pounds. And uh, he still got the scar and I hope he shows it. <laughs> They did so much, both of them, on different directions. One, Jim ran the uh, girls' uh, uh, teams, and Annette ran all us old seniors, and how she put up with it, I'll never know. And, and there's so many complaints and problems, and you never hear them complain about it. Buck coached the U.S. women at the World Cup in 2004, which is an elite international wheelchair tennis competition. In 2010, they were the Brad Parks Award winners, and were the USTA National Family of the Year winners in 1985. Tennis was always a family affair with us, from me and my brother playing and playing father-daughter and husband-wife and father-son. And, you know, um, we just played a lot of tennis together. It's what kept our family close. Uh, I think probably one of the biggest highlights for my parents and one of their proudest moments was winning the National Family of the Year from the USTA because not everybody can do that. And it just proves what tennis did for us as a family and what we owe to the sport. Um, again, that's why we want to give back to it. That's why they were so giving of their time and their, and their energy to tennis and just sharing it with everybody else. Consistent, decent, giving. Uh, no one's more giving than Southern Cal Tennis and Jim and They're really deserving of this award. Uh, wheelchair tennis, Jim coming down to help me at USC for 12 years. Annette handling every prickly situation with the most grace. And um, I'm terribly lucky to, to be their friend. When I think about you, I think about uh, it's not what you can get out of life, but what's what you can give to life. The two of you, uh, not only as players, I know Annette, you played as a junior, but Jim, uh, I've known you forever. Uh, you know, we both took from Clyde Walker. Uh, you were fantastic helping me with my American twist because you had a great one. And, uh, you know, going to SC and All-American, playing at Wimbledon, beating Hewitt and Reeson, all those things. And you're so, you're, the both of you just, all you do is contribute, contribute, contribute. I want to thank both of you for starting this, the San Fernando Valley tennis patrons because patrons are so important, especially for the top juniors and junior development. You've been in my life a long time, Jim, so uh, it's great that you're a friend. And uh, all I know is <laughs> the kids, um, Jim and Carrie, you should be really proud of your parents. They're fantastic. Well done. From winning the NCAA team championship in 1958, Jim continues to coach and mentor while Annette thrived with her leadership role with the SCTA. Having started the successful San Fernando Valley tennis patrons, they both have touched the lives of youth tennis and helped so many in Southern California. Already a winner of the SCTA Lifetime Achievement Award, Jim and Annette are now Southern California Hall of Fame inductees.